Hi y'all, Chris here from Lewis County Head Start. And today we're going to talk about absorption with a little science experiment using a jar with a little bit of water in there. I have some ribbands, marbles, and various uh, absorbing materials such as a Kleenex, a paper towel, some writing paper, and a sponge. So absorption is how much an uh, object can carry, such as a liquid or a gas, before it can't take any more. And either it'll expand until it either explodes or expand and just start letting liquid fall out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glass and my material along with the rubber band and I'm going to wrap them around each one like so. So I'm taking my glass, I'm taking my Kleenex, and ta-da! Now I'm going to repeat that three more times with my other jars. All right, now that we're set up, what I have here is a bottle marked at 20 ounces of water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my marble right on top. I wanna see how much water it takes for it to break, okay? Now this can make a mess, so I'm gonna put a towel right below it to help absorb any water that might be left over, okay? So I'm going to slowly pour it on. And look, it's already sinking. And that wasn't even a full ounce of water. And so if I gently push on it, like so, it breaks. So that was not even a full ounce of water. So next is our paper towel. Before we move on, see if we can see our marble in the water. So we're going to take our marble and we're going to put it on the paper towel. Now these are what we use. These should wa uh, commonly wash our hands. So again, we're at 19 ounces now. I'm going to pour and pour. And as we can see, it absorbs more and more. We have now used a full ounce of water. We're going to pour a little bit more. And see if we put just a little bit of pressure after two ounces of water, it goes right through. All right. So next, after I get my marble, we have our paper. Now this one might take a little bit more. So on our container, we are now at 17 ounces of water. So let's see how much uh, water it takes to break the paper. Uh, again, pour until it absorbs all it can. Oh, I think it's going to keep going. This paper is pretty absorbent. All right, so I pour it on just over two ounces of water. And look, it's still pretty absorbent. It still has a lot of give to it. So I think it's reached its point and it's just moving the water around. All right. So even if I add more water, chances are until I start pushing on it, it won't break. So if I apply, oh, I had to apply a good amount of pressure on there before it broke. And as we can see, our water and our marble. Now as I get my ball out, our last one is a trickster. As it's a sponge. So I can just keep on pouring more and more and more water. And no matter how much I pour out of my container, it's gonna fill up our glass before the marble even shrugs. 
And the trick is a sponge has a very high absorption rate. So, I, so the reason why our paper towel and our tissue and our writing paper broke is because of its absorption. It couldn't be saturated anymore. And so the water gave it a choice, either spread out more, which was not enough surface here, or drip down the side and thus break. And so that's why our marble came falling through. What happens with our sponge is that it absorbs water and as I squeeze it, more water comes out. That's because sponges are made of loose fibers, which are any little bitty uh, materials woven together with holes in between them. The holes in the sponge absorb the water and the sponge material swells up. And just like our good friends, the paper towel, the tissue and our writing paper, they're made with different material and each one absorbs differently until it either breaks or it can't hold any more water. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.